If like me, you want to test multiple websites ideas and you want to do it early in single hosting account so that you can confirm the ideas that will succeed or not and that without costing you too much, then you are in the right place. In this video, I show you how to do it and also how to install WordPress in your website. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, I am Mohamed from Smart DG Web. I am happy to be with you in this video. Before to start, please subscribe to get any update. The hosting provider we are going to be using in this video is Nameship. This host has offers with an interesting price and good quality for domain names as well as for hosting. To access the shared hosting offers, click on the following menu. You have then three offers. With the Stella offer, you can host up to three websites with different domain names. While with the, the Stella Plus offer that I use myself, you can host as many websites as you want. If you haven't yet purchased or seen for your websites, you can find the links to these offers in the video descriptions. Now let's look at how to add a new website to a shared hosting. First of all, log into your Nameship account and click on the Domain List menu. Find the domain name you want to add to your shared hosting and click on the Manage button. Then scroll down to the section Name Servers and in the drop down choose the option Nameship Web Hosting DNS. Then click the check mark. A message appears tells you that it will take up to 48 hours, but uh, generally it takes a few minutes for me. Now that the DNS of our domain has been set, the next step is to add it as an add-on domain to our main domain. For that, we will connect to the cPanel associated with the main domain, then scroll down to the domains section and click on add-on domains. In the new domain name field, enter the name of the add-on domain. The subdomain and the document rule fields are filled in automatically. If you need an FTP account, check this option and fill in the access data. Otherwise, simply click on the Add Domain button. The domain name is then added and if you now go to the File Manager, you will notice a relative folder to the added domain name has been created. Now that we have added the domain name as add-on domain, I will show you how to install WordPress. So to do that, go back to cPanel and click on the tool Softaculous Installer. Then click the install script of WordPress. Choose the latest WordPress version available, as well as the HTTPS protocol, and choose the domain name that we just defined as add-on domain. Leave the installation folder empty to install WordPress at the root. You can enter site name and uh, description. However, you can modify them later in the administration console of WordPress. In the next section, define the login and password of the WordPress admin as well as uh, the email address, which can be uh, Gmail or uh, any other provider. Then choose the language of your website. For the search of plugins and team, just leave the default search since you can modify them later. You have also the possibility to enter email address to receive the installation details. Finally, click on the install button. Well, congratulations, WordPress is now installed. Now you have the possibility to access the administration console to choose your team and refine the setting. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon in another video. Goodbye.